Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Bitt. As the season rolls on, Brent, how do squads manage to preserve momentum and energy and, and keep themselves fired up? Yeah, you got to challenge yourself, Kevin, to try to continue to be consistently good. And I think that's what you're talking about here is a standard with which you play is going to help you continue to get wins because you expect that from one another. And look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Ivy is out there with Brown. Then there's Mobley. Then there's Jakob Pertl. And it's Murphy in at the small forward. And one thing that is special about Evan Mobley made an immediate defensive impact as a rookie. Something few big men are able to do. Throw good, Mobley. As you said, very few rookie big man, Greg, can shape a defense like Mobley did. Kind of reminds you of the impact Tim Duncan had with his defense. If Mobley can protect the rim and stay in front of guards on the perimeter. Boy, sky is the limit for him defensively. Here's Ivan. Paul George making his last shot. Pass to Brown. To the middle. And he banks in the lane. Yeah, he's a big combo guard, and, and Ivy plays with no fear in there. Young pass to Bogdanovich. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. To the paint. Pirtle with the steal. Here's Mobley. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now, here is Young. What a tremendous game he played against New York. And there's the call on Evan Mobley. That's his first foul. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. George looking around. Here's Capella. A shot's good on the assist by George. Every year, Clint Capella up there. One of the highest percentage field goal shooters we have in the NBA. Here's Ivy driving the lane. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Three-pointer heel. It's held in by the Cavaliers. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. And guys, there's really a fine line between being aggressive and being out of control. And in that one, they crossed the line. Well, you can do a couple things with turnovers. They committed too many, and then they didn't force enough. So a, a tough go in that category. Here now is the 2K leaderboard. Over the past month, these teams have tortured opponents defensively the Cavaliers fourth what a month they've had defensively I mean they've really got after it on that end of the floor for Atlanta they've gone two or three here to start out the game and the pass to Capella back to heel Capella sets a screen for heel a shot by George wide open offline with his three Brown dishes to Ivy Back to Brown. Pirtle against Heal. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Mobley. An astonishing body control by Pirtle. Just taking the hit head on and finishing through it all. And there's one area where the Cavs have been very good the past few seasons. That's the draft. They've made some terrific picks in terms of personnel. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. To the wing on the left. Now, here's Ivy. Defense right on him. And Mobley throws it down. That's what he gives you. A big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. George, no good. The right GA they have, and the draft's been essential to the rebuild effort in Cleveland. And they've been so smart about it. You look at the guys they brought in, Mobley, Garland, Seth. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, a natural score. Ivy is developing into a tremendous playmaker. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Take a look at the Hawks. They're holding the edge for the last playoff slot. I am sure they'd feel better if they could jump up a couple rankings. And checking out Cleveland, three and a half back. Well, right now for the Hawks, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders, just haven't been there. Now, you just don't want to sit in the middle for too long. You either want to be competing against the top teams or starting to strategize where you can position yourself for a high lottery pick and maybe turn around your franchise's fortunes. Murphy can't hit. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does, so the size paying off. Round against Teal. Back to Young. Outside Bogdanovich. The shot's good on the assist by George. Paul George doesn't just score. He can pass it as well. Great all-around player. Ivy passes to Purdy. Brown outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Hawks trail by eight. And one thing I love about Clint Capella, he is a guy who plays to his strengths, especially with how he attacks the backboard. I think on both sides of the floor, Greg, he understands the value of just getting possession of the ball. So get a defensive rebound, help start the break. Get an offensive rebound and pick up some scrap points. Those things add up over time. He's explosive. He's got great length. Ivy is who you want to target in the alley you get. And Pirtles sends it back. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Looking at who's out there now for What's the Hawks. Up? Okong Wu's checked in for Capella. Justice Winslow comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for George. Lou Williams is subbed in for heel. Brown, no good on the free throw. And this offensive system, Brett, that the Hawks run, it allows for a lot of creativity. Yeah, lots of dribble handoffs at the top of the key. You obviously have the, the case of emergency break glass player in Trey Young. But uh, they're not afraid to attack mismatches, and this is the type of offenses that I think a lot of players would enjoy playing. Bruce Brown, he's jacked in for the Cavaliers. And the Hawks with possession here. Down by 12. Barnes kicks to Young. Inside. Deflects the pass. Olenek with the steal. To the inside. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Harris. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Cleveland. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball. Looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals and transition. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out in transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. Olenek sets a screen for Harris. Again, the Cavaliers score. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Pass to Young. Kicks to Winslow. 
Hits it from three-point range. This is the kind of shot that will bolster Winslow's confidence. Brown the pass to Harris. Olenek sets a screen for Harris. The kick out to Williams. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Hawks trail by 13. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Okungu slams it in. Just do your work. Try to get open and Trey's going to find you. Morris looking over the floor. Williams sets a screen for Morris. Out to Harris. Nobody near Williams. It's three pointers off the mark. For Atlanta, they've gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Passes it to Okongwu. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. And Okongwu slams it in. Beautiful use of the pick and roll. Sweet Lou, so elusive and so good in those sets. And here is Morris. From past the arc. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And they've done a phenomenal job down. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. They've got Martin, Lou Williams out there with Paul George. Then it's Barnes, and it's Okongwu in at the center. So that's the Hawks' five. Down low, Mobley, and Mobley throws it down. And the skills of Brown, not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Outside, Martin. Williams finds Martin. Down to five on the shot clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, Greg, you played on some gritty teams, and we hear that expression, getting punched in the mouth. And it's not usually literal, but... What's that look like on the floor? What's it feel like on the court? Kevin, you, you're just out hustling and out muscling the team. At times, you'll see it. They kind of checked out mentally. And, and I'll tell you what, it is one of the best feelings in sport. That one is off. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Atlanta. Herbert Jones comes in for Barnes. And the second free throw, good. Cleveland leading by eight. Up top, Brown. Defended by Jones. And it's Brown missing. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Outside, Martin. George against Brown. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Jalen Brown. Paul George right now one step ahead of his defender using the old pump fake. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. He's off on the first. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Uh, let's see, GA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. And, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin. <laughs> but give him credit. To, to battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive will. And the Cavaliers making a change here. 
Murphy's checked in. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Mobley is screen on Jones. And the basket by Murphy. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Williams passes to Martin. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Ivy. Drops in the breakaway layup. And now a 12-point Cavalier lead. Wow, Ivy just takes off. That high effort transition play, that's what will make him an asset moving forward. Williams kicks to Martin. From outside, off the mark. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. And it's Paul George with the foul. That's his first foul. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Hurdle. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And you look at Jakob Pertl, great touch and presence inside the paint. Can get you with a move or just power his way to the hoop. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Not the best statistic break, for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. The first free throw is good. And Greg Pirtle has so many options to score inside. And that's why he's such an efficient scorer, Kevin. Very composed at the rim. Doesn't need a lot of time to get his shot off inside. That one misses. And Pirtle is a massive guy. Someone that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks at the bucket. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Here's Brown. What a terrific move that was. Brown's got six. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Right side, Williams. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Not a lot of plays drawn up for Capella, so his energy and involvement come from that kind of activity there. Ivy kicks to Murphy. Here's Pirtle, and the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Yeah, he's got to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Martin finds William. Brown against George. Here's the three. He doesn't hit that one. So Cleveland will take it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. We're playing host to Toronto for the next one. That game is the first and last of their home start. Williams looking around. Kicks it out to Jones. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. The Cavaliers leading by 12. Ivy dishes to Mobley. Out to the right wing. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And Mobley throws it down. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldrin. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers and... They found a temporary edge, but now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD, uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. They'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. Capella taking a crack and stays focused on the rim. 
And one thing, Greg, we know Capella has always done. He plays to his strengths. It's a great point, Kevin. Capella knows where he's best and, and really focuses on that. Can help the team with minimal touches on offense, but he really anchors a defense by not overextending. Free throw no good for Capella. And so much reliance for this team on Capella and his grittiness to do the little things on the inside. They love that work ethic. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Now Young. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Shoots from 12. Buries the jump shot. Young's got just incredible confidence. And it's Harris with the ball for Cleveland. They have a nine-point lead. He kicks it to Olenek. The dish to Morris. Driving in. Olenek trying to break loose. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist from Olenek. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Capella with a screen on Harris. Bogdanovich finds Capella. Basket counts. Capella's got eight. It's a nice pick and roll there. Capella slicing with purpose after he sets the screen and ready for the ball. Here's Eldama. Covered by Winslow. Here's Morris. Young with the steal. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. A three-pointer, no good. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Aldama passes to Morris. Olenek sets a screen for Morris. No good on the triple. The Hawks trail by nine. Capella dishes to Young. Lob pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. I draw that one up again. Throw it up. Capella jump. You slam it through. That's an easy two. Morris passes to Eldama. There's 39 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Joe Linick. Five to shoot. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the half. Back to Capella. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Capella's got 10 points in the quarter. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. Well, they've shown both effort and will to get back into this one, but can they finish this one off? Can't let up now. And a close game so far to the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Cavaliers on top. They lead by five. Will
Get right back to the end. They better count their lucky stars. This is close. All the energy. And now let's talk about that first half. Thanks for spending halftime with us. And in that first half, we saw a pretty... with the American band scene. Hold the fans, they got their hands high. Know to take a table and turn it into the vibe. Never been too... Morris against Young. 
Here's Morris. Olenek, a screen on Young. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Cavaliers on top, up five. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Clint Capella has been sensational. Something has kicked him into gear tonight as he has done work on the offensive end. I think he's enjoying it too. So rare to have an offensive explosion from him. You know his teammates are loving that as well. And there's one area where the Cavs have been very good the past few seasons. That's the draft. They've made some terrific picks in terms of personnel. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Ivy is out there with Jalen Brown. Then there's Jakob Pertl. Then it's Evan Mobley. And it's Murphy in at the three spot. Young's shot is off. The Cavaliers leading by five. The right, GA they have. And the draft's been essential to the rebuild effort in Cleveland. And they've been so smart about it. You look at the guys they brought in. Mobley, Garland, Sexton. They nailed just about every one of their selections. On the wing, Jordan. Back to Young. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. The basket good. Off the assist from Young. Young's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's Brown. Brown jams it in. Yeah, a natural score. Ivy is developing into a tremendous playmaker. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Young. In the corner, it's healed. Another three for Atlanta. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Now, here's Ivy, defended by Young. And here's Ivy, the feed to Brown. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Brown's got 10 points. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Passes it to Capella. Gets the bucket and the foul. That one on Jakob Pertl. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. And one thing, Greg, we know Capella has always done. He plays to his strengths. It's a great What's point, up? Kevin. Capella knows where he's best and, and really focuses on that. Can help the team with minimal touches on offense, but he really anchors a defense by not overextending. And it's tied up with that one. And different games, different officials. Something that might be called a foul in one game, Greg, may not be called in the next. As a player, how do you adjust to that? And it's a great question, and that's part of being a veteran. I, I learned early on, you actually scout officials the same way you scout the players. They have tendencies as well. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. Okongwu's checked in for Atlanta. A free throw good from Brown. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. A shot by Okongwu. No good. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Ivy, once again off the mark by Cleaver. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Now here's Heald. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. Outside, George on deep. It's rebounded by Cleveland. At one point, they led by 16. 
be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Here's George. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. Six to shoot. That one, no good. And Cleveland will come the other way. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. The Atlanta making some changes. Kenyon Martin Jr. comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Herbert Jones in for George. A switch here also for Cleveland. Browns checked in. trying to get open Martin against Mobley Mobley with the block and the ball goes out of bounds last touch by Mobley Williams is checked in for Atlanta Cleveland also making some changes Williams comes in for Pirtle and Hayes subbed in for Ivy Taken away by Hayes. Pass to Brown. Mobley sets the pick for Brown. Off the left rim and out. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Okongwu dishes to Williams. Jones the pass to Okongwu. Shot clock at six. In the corner, it's healed. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got three assists now in this one. The pass to Williams. To the paint. And Mobley throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Okongwu with the screen for heel. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Martin against Mobley. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three point play chance for him. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Cavaliers. And they've shown great focus on the defensive end, putting constant pressure on the ball and really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. Well, another part of the credit has to go to what they did on the inside blocking shots. I mean, super scrappy defensively and just affecting a lot of the opportunities that their opponents were putting up. He throw good, Mobley. And one thing that is special about Evan Mobley, made an immediate defensive impact as a rookie. Something few big men are able to do. Atlanta calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And here are the top free throw shooting teams this month. You don't want to put these guys in the line too often. The Hawks second. And they've had a lot of success at the free throw line converting those at a high level. So I'd look for them to continue to attack the rim. The Hawks trail by seven. Williams passes to Martin. Healed, kicks to Williams. 
launches a three, and Heal with the basket on the assist by Williams. Williams has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Mobley sets the pick for Hayes. That's the Brown. Lock at six. Mobley a screen on Jones. Brown finds Mobley. That one goes in. Mobley's got 18 points in the game. Well, this is a gravity game right now. Whatever he throws up must come down. He's having a great game. Martin against Mobley. Martin dishes to Williams. And there's the call on Evan Mobley. That's his third foul of the game. Barnes is checked in for Martin. And Cleveland also making a change. Morris is checked in. Okongwu, the pass to Jones. Okongwu with the screen for Jones. Taken away by Williams. Here's Brown. Atlanta with the rebound. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. It's good. Nice touch there from Okongwu. Well, because he scores so often, Williams draws defensive attention. Coaches change some coverages, which in turn open up some passing opportunities. Round with it. Guarded now by Barnes. Williams, a screen on Williams. Morris passes to Williams. Down low. Good on that shot. And with that, the Cavalier lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Barnes. Barnes so good at getting to that area on the floor and then making sure it counts. Now here is Harris. He gives the team some steady offense. A bit under 10 points a game. And stolen by Okongwu. Inside, Williams. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Williams has got his second basket. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Morris passes to Mobley. Rebounded by the Hawks. Okongwu's now got rebound number five here tonight. Barnes kicks to Williams. out the third and the lead is theirs heading into the final four it's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three Hawks lead by two and let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game and he sliced the D wide open with this feed they had no chance to prevent that basket that's what great passing will do for you right there dissecting the defense with that play And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And so Brown will bring it up for Cleveland. A two-point game. So with George on the bench, here's his on the floor for Nate McMillan. Young and Bogdanovich are their guards. Harrison Barnes is out there with Justice Winslow. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. Atlanta with the ball, following the score by Cleveland. Bogdanovich finds Capella. Back to Bogdanovich. And he banks in the lane. Bogdanovich has got the lead. Back up to two now for Atlanta. And you've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Here's Eldama. Here's Ivy. Bound by Young. You know, and after fighting to get back into it, that was the chance there to tie it up. I'm not sure, but that could be a game-changing miss. He wanted that bad. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Five to shoot to the middle. Here's Capella. Count it! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. 
That went on Olenek. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them. And they're locked in. And with that outside shot going, it's a big difference maker. Now, here's Ivy. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Look at, look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fend guys off and get those rebounds. Winslow's shot is off. The Cavaliers trail by five. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Ivy passes to Olenek. Here's Eldama. And here's Ivy. Beyond the arc. A putback. It's good on the putback. Yeah, Olenek on the inside, just staying active and hitting the glass hard. Passes it to Capella. Young outside. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Or Cleveland, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Here's Brown. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. And you got to respect how accomplished Brown is down low, destroying whoever is in his way. And Cleveland making a change here. Myrtle's checked in. And George kicks to Young. Hogs passing it around. Capella with a screen on Brown. And here's Young from the arc. It's not going to go for him. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And the skills of Brown, not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Now, here is Young. Winslow setting the pick for Young. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. A great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Now take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. That one misses for Young. Fair or not, as long as Trey Young is in the NBA, he will be connected to Luka Doncic and that night back in 2018 during the draft. Those two guys swapped teams. In that 2018 draft, Brent, the Doncic-Young swap was a huge deal. Yeah, so the two will be compared, and I think that's been a great deal for each team. You've seen the growth. You've seen them in the playoffs. You've seen the kind of excitement level that they brought to the fans, and both have been all-stars. So Luka and Trey, both spectacular offensive players, and they both are carrying the load. The first free throw is good. And you have to appreciate the all-out effort Jay Nivey gives you on the court. He works so hard to find ways to get involved and prove he belongs here. So one for two that time at the strike. And with Ivy, he gives you the physical trace you want at guard. Long, strong, athletic, lots of upside. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Now, here's Ivy. And slam dunk by Ivy. And man, can Ivy fly. I mean, a big-time finish. And Ivy especially effective in the open floor. Outstanding burst and speed. Plays with a high motor, and he's always in attack mode. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. And there it is for him. And the Hawks lead by three. And won't find many more games 
as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Now, here's Brown. Outside Murphy. Rebound by the Hawks. Capella's got rebound number eight now on the night. Brown against Bogdanovich. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds for the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. here. Heald's checked in. Evan Mobley's checked in for the Cavaliers. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to hear Nate McMillan talk to his team during the break, and he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. Thank you, David. Here's Ivy. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got assist number five here tonight. Big time buckets is what everyone wants to see from Ivy. He has to attack without hesitation in those situations. Now, here's Capella. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed. So can't fault him for going for the block. On the wing, Brown. He lobs it up and slam dunk by Ivy. He's explosive. He's got great length. Ivy is who you want to target in the alley oop game. 13 feet away. And the dunk by Capella. And how about Capella? Not the guy you expect, but cool under pressure that time. Round against Teal. Feeling out a bit. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Healed the pass to Young. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Outside, George. Clock at four. Shoots over Mobley. George, no good. So it's Mobley with it. He'll bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Trailing by five. I admire the energy that Crown plays was so great at getting to the line. He hits the first one, and that shrinks the margin to just four. He's perfect from the line this time. And really just a great rhythm at the line, whether it's a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance. Now, here's George. Capella with a screen on Murphy. They get the rebound. Capella with the bucket. Capella's got the lead up to five now for Atlanta. Well, Capella, if we watched him again there, he would be reading where that ball is going and he positions himself before the ball even comes off. In these types of situations, this team turns to Pirtle. He, he is more than ready for any challenge that comes as well. Here's George. The Cavaliers making the shot. Capella with a screen on Murphy. George finds Capella. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Jakob Pirtle. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Get the 
First one to drop, tough one to miss. And this is great for team morale as Pete Capella is not the best free throw shooter in the league and certainly not on his team, but he is capable in these spots. Let's see if he builds his confidence here. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're down by four. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 45 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. It counts! And he has brought them to within two points. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? From deep, George. Left alive by Atlanta. Capella kicks to George. Kins the three. Well, your best players want to take on the burden come clutch time, and Paul George carrying the weight right now. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're trailing by five. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Brown. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Well, that's just great timing. Interfering with those long limbs. Capella with another shot clock. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Outside Murphy. Rebound by the Hawks. Now, here is Young. And so it's Atlanta with the W.